Hello, Pally. I'm Alex Bozzi. Today is Friday, January 6th. Our first pop quiz for 2017 is coming up on today's episode. But first, let's take a look at our first daily pick for 2017. This pick comes from our very own executive producer, Joel Dong. Her windshield iced over as temps this morning hovered around freezing. Send us your cold weather picks by tweeting us at Pally and Focus to be featured on air. Now, here are some announcements from today's campus bulletin. Meet representatives from historically black colleges and universities attend workshops on college prep admissions and financial aid at the 27th annual Black College Awareness Fair. The events take place on Saturday, January 28th at Stanford's Tresider Union. There will be a free continental lunch and breakfast. Students can RSVP at register at bcafair.org. Notable college reps will be discussing what it means to be college ready in 2017 and the benefits of considering a gap year before college. The event will take place on Wednesday, January 11th from 6 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. at 349 Shelby Lane in Atherton. RSVP to kbuyers at globalcitizen.org. TEDx Palo Alto High School is hosting a fundraising event at T4 Palo Alto from January 9th to 12th. 5% of sales will benefit the club and help cover costs of the TEDx event in March. While showing this flyer or a digital image will get you a 5% discount at T4 Palo Alto. The flyers can be found posted around school and on the TEDx Palo Alto High School Facebook page. Well, today is Friday and that means it's time for a pop quiz. A lot happened over the winter break. Maddie Jerker went out to see who was paying attention. I sure wasn't keeping up with news over the break, but were you guys? What famous sign was tampered with on January 1st? The Statue of Liberty. Uh, the Statue of Liberty? I have no idea. A stop sign. <laughs> Wait, the Hollywood sign. The Hollywood sign. <laughs> was it, was it like that one city in NorCal that's like weed or something like that? <laughs> oh, the Hollywood sign. Oh, Hollyweed, yeah, Hollyweed. <laughs> Oh, the Hollywood sign? It was like Hollyweed. Hollywood sign. The stop sign? Hollyweed. <laughs> How many electoral college votes did Trump get? Many. Enough to win. I'm sad about that. <laughs> More than Hillary. More than Hillary, yes. Like 200 and like 50? Um, 304, I think. Six, I don't know. <laughs> Who's the new bachelor? Oh. Kyle, I don't know. Chris sounds like a generic boy's name. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What? This is not politics. Get this away from me. I don't watch that show. Oh, um, um, he's 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 like number third. I think he was like he got third. He's like been on it three times. He was in Bachelors in Paradise, and I do not know his name. I don't like him. Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, Nick Vile. I'll give you a hint, in Zootopia, his last name was Wild. Is it Nick Wild? <laughs> no, just the first name. Is it Nick? Oh my gosh, Nick, Vile. <laughs> what day did Kim Kardashian return to social media? I honestly don't care. Uh, she shouldn't. <laughs> um, December 30th. January 3rd. I'm glad I do not know this. I have no idea. January 1st, 2nd? January 2nd. No, 3rd. January 3rd. Final answer. <laughs> I don't care about Kim Kardashian. But who is that? Kim Kardashian. She's married to Kanye West. Oh, who's Kanye West? <laughs> <laughs> Now on to sports. Let's get started with some soccer scores. Yesterday, the boys' varsity soccer team played Los Altos and despite some hard work on the pitch, ended up losing by a score of 2-4. to four. On the flip side, the girls did well against their opponent, scoring, uh, scoring a clean sheet and beating Saratoga 3-0. Good job, girls. Like a WWE wrestling star, the wrestling team crushed their opponent last night, beating Limbrook 71-9. to nine. Tonight is going to be a big night for basketball, both boys and girls face off against Gunn, our mortal enemies. And girls start at 6.15 and the boys start at 7.45. This weekend is also an important weekend for girls sports. The girls soccer team 
plays Sacred Heart at 11, and girls basketball plays Castro Valley at 1. Lastly, there will be a boys baseball informational meeting on Monday, January 9th. That meeting will take place after school at 3.30 at the baseball field. The field will then be open after the meeting for anyone who wants to do a workout. Well, that does it for us today. Remember, you can get the latest Pally News anywhere, anytime by checking us out at www.infocusnews.tv. Until next time, have a great day, Pally, and stay warm out there. Vandal, light up a stage and watch a chump like a candle. Dance, corrupt the speaker that booms. I'm killing your brain like a poisonous mushroom. Deadly, when I play a dope melody, anything less than the best is a felony. Love it or leave it, you better gain.